It is market day. This is a bit different to normal markets. This is a twilight market. Be ready by three and bump in starts at two. I have to leave here at about one. So it still means nothing has been packed because I have to use the car. The weather is looking cloudy. We'll see how it goes. It's more the wind that you have to worry about. There's meant to be a little bit of rain. Uh, but it's the wind that I'm a bit concerned about. The last Twilight Market, it actually did rain, but it was fine. So even if it rains a little bit today, it'll be fine. The first thing I think I need to do though is go and buy some safety pins. I thought I had some, but I don't have enough. I thrifted a top and it just is a little bit low hanging. And at the markets, if you're like leaning over packing stuff and everything, you don't really want everything to be on display. So I'm going to get a safety pin. It will also help with tablecloths. Yeah. Obligatory Zoe cam. Where are you going? Yeah. All right, let's go. Everyone wants safety pins. So, uh, that didn't work. Apparently there's a safety pin shortage everywhere. Okay, I think I will just maybe sew the top a little bit. I don't know, but in the meantime, I am just going to take it slow, try and preserve all of my energy for later on today, have some coffee. This is one of my tulip cups that I am going to keep making. I think I might try and make it more yellow next time, but I actually like how it's like a cream really soft gentle cream yellow i did buy an easel though a tiny easel so you know wasn't a complete waste of time so yes i think i'm going to have my coffee read some of my book and then i will start sanding and packing after that trying to figure out how to organize so I have three boxes of stock and I have one box that's just all of the I guess the opposite kind of things these I like to uh, organize them so I can just take one out and lay everything out for that section this one is mugs at the moment this one is latte cups and bowls and mini plates you can't let it get too heavy because already these are breaking so I have to try and have everything equal Okay, so all four boxes, there's one under there as well, are all packed up and the tables and the gazebo are outside. I'm already sweating, but this is for sun protection. 
Gotta have that sun protection. That's why. car is packed. <laughs> Looks like an absolute train wreck. These things are just to keep it from knocking around. It's all stuffed in there nicely. As nice as I can get it. Oh, oh. yep, closes. Now I am really sweaty. So I have to cool down. I have to have lunch. I have to make snacks. Do my hair again and then go. Okay. It's time to go. It's a little bit, it's a little bit windy. Hopefully it'll be okay there. Alright, let's go. Have to unload everything. <laughs> Fun. Okay, I just parked the car, going back, about to set up. I think I will just um, show you when it's done because I'm really sweaty <sighs> and I can't be bothered to film it. Okay. <laughs> without having an American accent. I didn't see you there. Can I get any closer to this shoe? So let's talk about the market. First off, it was great. It was so busy. So many people came out, which you always have to have, well, I guess not low expectations, but just lower expectations because it was a one-off event. And you never know how many people are going to know about it first off. Also, it's January, so a quieter month for sales. It's school holidays, so parents are having to spend a lot of money other ways, just during the day, every single day. But yeah, it was great. I did mean to have more footage of the actual market, but my camera died after about five minutes. So that camera is currently in a timeout. <laughs> Oh, 
Also, I think I have to clear something up. It seems obvious to me, but I make everything. That's what I do. That's my, my market stall. Everything is made by me, even the displays. I think I need to write a sign or something because I thought it was obvious, but every time I get people saying, you know, they hold up something, they say, did you make this? And it's like, yeah, yeah, I made everything. And it's like, you made all of this? Someone said something to me at the market. I didn't understand where they were coming from. And then a couple hours later, I was like, oh, that's what you meant. They held up a cup and they said, have you ever drunk from a cup like this? And I said, yeah. And they said, well, if you, if you haven't, you really should try a cup like this. They're really comfortable. Uh, and, and, you know, was going on about how great this cup would be for them to drink out of. And I was thinking, you don't have to sell it to me. I mean, I made it, but that's, I, I'm, I'm meant to be selling it to you. What I realized too long later, they wouldn't have realized I had made it. They just thought I had bought it from somewhere and was just selling it as if I was just a store attendant in Bed Bath and Beyond. So the prices are as such because I spend weeks making each piece. Like it's a, it's not an overnight process. It takes weeks for every single piece to go from start to finish. So I need a sign. I need a sign saying I made this. I'm painting shoes, by the way. Did I say that? Why not? You know? What do you do when you're not painting ceramics? But anyway, that was the market. They are always great fun. If there's anything that you want to know about having a market stall or having a ceramics business or anything really, just leave a comment. I'm always happy to answer questions. The other thing I didn't really think of was how humid it would be. We set up at about two, the hottest part of the day in an Australian summer. I mean, if ceramics doesn't work out for me, I could always open a stall just of my own bottled sweat. That's probably not a good thing to say, but honestly, I'm a sweaty person. My gosh, <sighs> I had to keep taking breaks during setup just because of how much I was sweating. You don't want to start your market stall saturated. So you have to just not let the sweat start. This is a lot of talk about sweat. I'll, I'll, I'll stop talking about sweat now. The markets are so fun though. It's just such an amazing opportunity to meet people. In the end, a website is great, but I do really like just getting to know the people who are buying my stuff. And a lot of the time in this community, people keep coming back and I get to know the customers and that's really amazing. Often it is people doing a day trip or you know, whatever, just coming along once, but I do get a lot of repeat customers. That's a really nice compliment. Anyway, I'm just gonna keep painting my shoes and I'll see you next week. Thank you.